Watch this video to learn how to create and send invoices in Xero. To quickly create a new invoice in Xero, click the plus icon from any screen in Xero and select Invoice. Or click Sales and select Invoices. Then click New Invoice. Enter the name of the person or business you're invoicing in the contact field. In this example, we'll enter Bayside Club. If the contact already exists in Xero, select their name from the list. If they're a new customer, click Create as a new contact. Then, fill out basic details for them to create a contact record. For example, enter the email address so you can send the invoice to them directly from Xero. Click Save to confirm the changes. Next, add an issue date. Type the date into the field or select it using the calendar. We'll keep the current date. Enter the due date. Type a date use the calendar picker, or choose a preset option, such as in seven days. Xero automatically populates the invoice number for you. As this is the first invoice we've raised in Xero, it's defaulted to invoice one. You can change this by typing a different invoice number into the field. Enter a Reference. Like your customer's order number, if necessary. Moving on, we recommend you set up online payment services so your customers can pay you faster. Once set up, you can select which ones you want to include on this invoice. Next, add the invoice details. Enter a clear description of the product or service you're selling so your customer knows what the invoice is for. We'll enter photo shoot. Next is the quantity field. If your description covers everything you've sold, you can often just enter a quantity of one in this field. However, if you're charging for a number of products or the duration of services provided, you can enter the relevant amount. In this example, we provided a three hour photo shoot, so we'll enter three. Next, enter the price. For our example, we'll enter 50 as the cost per hour. Choose an account, so Xero knows where to categorize this income. Xero often suggests an account but you can click the field to select from the list or search. We're using Xero's default chart of accounts, so we'll keep sales. Finally, choose a tax rate to ensure Xero calculates the appropriate sales tax amount. As you work, Xero auto saves your invoice as a draft. Click preview to view how your customer will see the invoice. Once you're happy with the invoice, the Approve dropdown has various options to finalize it. This means it will show as an outstanding invoice to be paid and be included in the total owed to you by your customers. To email it to your customer, click Approve and Email. Edit the email message on the left and view a real-time preview of the invoice on the right. Confirm your customer's email address and customize the message. By default, the message includes an invoice link, allowing your customer to view the invoice online. Click Send Email to email the invoice to your customer. The invoice will now show as Awaiting Payment. Let's see this from your customer's perspective. They'll receive an email with a summary of the invoice.
They can view full details by clicking Review and Pay Invoice if you've included a payment service, or View Invoice if you haven't. When they view the online invoice, they'll see all line item details and your payment terms. If they have multiple outstanding bills, they can view them in the top left. If you've set up a payment service, they'll also see a Pay Now button enabling instant payment. At the bottom, they can also download a PDF copy for their records. Back in your Xero organisation, on the Awaiting Payment tab of the Invoices page, you'll see the invoice now shows as Viewed. Continue to add other invoices as required. Now you're ready to create and send invoices from Xero.